A lot of people are talking about RFK's campaign made announcement last week. They were looking at Jesse Ventura and uh, Aaron Rodgers. I will tell you that if they leak that those one of those two are about to be, you know, are, are being considered, that means that the, one of those two will neither one of them will be a nominee. That is what uh, it, it seems to me. But uh, certainly Aaron Rodgers would help in uh, taking some votes away from Donald Trump. And uh, so we will see. Um, but nevertheless, the other question is, who's going to be Trump's running mate? Well, they, uh, they, they, we are off to the races. Here is Tim Scott on Sean Hannity's program trying to reach Donald Trump. Now, of course, you go on Sean Hannity's program, you know Donald Trump is watching. Yes. And I just, like, I got to say, Tim Scott's, like, thirstiness about this is so off-putting from the beginning to the point where it's like i think trump's gonna be like i, I don't like this guy. i don't it's know getting desperate. i, I like know. how much he wants it i like yeah. to watch that guy if there's anyone paying attention to the details of 2024 it's donald trump who is now running co-running the rnc laura trump why because he understands that the devil's in the details so he puts his brilliant daughter-in-law in charge of our rnc apparatus so that all that rice talked about wise wise man he is will be taken care of we're going to focus on getting the vote out early often mail in uh, whatever it takes we will match fire with fire but at the end of the day you want the ball in the hands of the best player on the field that player is donald trump i can guarantee you he loves we football will win because we're coming together all right senator hope you're right we can't take four more years of this corpse as president oh, anyway we up, appreciate Sean. you being with us thank you when we come back john solomon john hannity um that there was a quality to hannity going like you don't have a chance did Tim miss and uh, yeah, like what else he was supposed to say there, which is, you know, how hot Ivanka is or something like that? I mean, he really didn't hit all the notes that he could yeah. uh, in terms of appealing to Trump. But yeah, I'm he a called CD Lara, lab, he uh, called Lara a smart. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know about that. I mean, she's, she's married to, to Eric, the so... money, but I don't know if she's smart. That seems a little bit much. Yeah, seems a little bit much. Um, we should say that the RNC. Um, is uh, they have brought in like veteran Republican uh, staffers in there. So it's not as uh, as Trumpy as one would imagine. But Lara's there to spy on them and to make sure that um, like, look, we know how it goes. One for me, one for you. Seven for me, one for you. And the good news is Seven there's no way you me, could ever outsmart Laura you. Trump. Laura. Yeah. Lara, 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 who Trump. cares? Nothing going to get past her. Yeah. Um, Tim Scott's not the only one who is um, uh, embarrassing himself in how thirsty he is uh, to become Donald Trump's vice president. There is another person who has been on a, a really like a, I want to say five year trajectory six-year trajectory, seven-year trajectory to get to this point where she thinks her name is uh, in the ring to be um, uh, chosen as Donald Trump's uh, VP. And my guess is nothing could be further from the truth. However, it is fun to watch her... Um, Squirm? Squ really attempt to get it. Here is, I give you... Um, Former presidential candidate Tulsi Gabbard, uh, along with Donald Trump Jr. All about vice president, something I've also seen a bunch here and, and actually for the last few weeks. How are you responding to that call? I'd be I'd be honored. Uh, I'd be honored to serve my country in that way. I'd be honored to actually be in a position to help President Trump execute his policies bringing bringing the experience that i have had of being on the front lines of many of these battles and actually understanding what we're up against and so whether you're talking about 
securing the border, reducing inflation, improving our economy, uh, stopping these Democrats or, or, and, and establishment Republicans, stopping these warmongers from continuing to push us closer and closer to war, not just in one country, but in multiple regions across the world. These are things, if I had the opportunity and privilege of being able to serve and support President Trump in actually executing these, executing these policies, I'd be honored to do so. What's your prediction for 2024 right now? You know, I, I'm encouraged to see <laughs> the polls showing that President Trump is leading President Biden in many of these key states. But I think it is critical. It is critical that no one. You know, uh, I'm, I would be honored to serve. And Sam, earlier you called me thirsty. Um, but I want for nothing <laughs> since Chris Butler has come into my life and I will be serving him in the highest office, second highest as vice president. Aloha. She really has just got that creepy cold. My energy. thirst is quenched, Sean. Yes, man. That is uh, that is pretty good. Um, that is uh, a pretty good uh, impression. Yeah, this is good. You know, I heard uh, you, you started doing it when we she, Sean Hamdy made her laugh. Sean. Like, oh, Sean. Show Sean. Oh, Sean. Oh, Sean. <laughs> don't be silly. I don't have the ability to be silly back. Aloha. Um, well, yeah, I, she, I heard Francesca she, do she her come Pelosi, out against, so, uh, yeah. uh, She called for a ceasefire. Uh, Can you confirm from that? Hamas, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Will you Google that? Uh, Does because Tulsi? I don't need to Google. What that. war She's is not. she talking about? If not that, the most prominent one that's taking place right now that we're supporting: Russia, Ukraine. Oh, I see. Okay, I see. Yeah, she has definitely not. There is not yeah, not for anything I've seen. Very odd these sources. Hmm. Super odd because well, I mean, actually which one not are odd more cl closer to actually being involved in? With boots on the ground, we're sending a thousand military personnel uh, to offload uh, supplies because, uh, you know, humanitarian aid. Um, uh, if you search Tulsi Gabbard, Rabbi Shmuley, you'll find more than <laughs> one picture uh, of them together, including uh, promoting his book, The Warrior Jew, I think it was called. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, no, he mm -hmm. also he had some books about sex, too. Right. Uh, the Rabbi Shmuley. Uh, Tulsi might have a problem with that. That's actually. true. That could Ooh, be a rip. In but they may. Th but they'll reunite over their shared love of killing Muslims, right. because like my favorite part is how the anti-war candidate started off her pitch to to Trump Jr. Uh, about how she was on the front lines, which is why we have to stop these forever wars. Where were you on the front lines, Tulsi? Because last I heard, you were a part of some special like operation in Africa that we haven't heard too much I, about. Maneuvers, but you know, I was behind enemy lines. Mm -hmm. That's where. That's how far at the front lines I was. <laughs> um, lick butts, not boots. Listen here, Mister Cedar. We need sixteen ounce coffee mugs. Hmm. We got to maybe talk to Julie about I that because I don't think too. our new, uh, I don't think our. Um, it's a big coffee mug. There is, there is a, it is a big coffee mug. Um, there is a limited number of manufacturers of coffee mugs in the United States. In fact, I'm not sure we can find one in the color that we want for the majority of it. Now we still have it union printed, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it, we'll, we'll see if we can. Um, Who do you think will be Trump's VP? I feel like it's been known this whole time, but Vegas odds favor Tim Scott. Uh, if there's an opportunity to vote against Tim Scott, I would I would vote that. Vegas odds? First of all, I wish... <laughs> I don't think you can bet on that on DraftKings Sportsbook in New York. They don't let you do any futures. But I would not put it on Tim Scott. I think Noam is a better choice. Like, I Trump's just going to smell this desperation and just get turned put off. I mean, we, what, what do we know uh, about Trump? I don't Trump? think it's desperation that he's going to smell. Yeah. I think, like, I, mean, about, I think it's more like, I don't know what it is. I look at him and I just don't see a vice president. I don't know what it is. I mean, if there's one thing we know about Trump, it's like it's that he when he selects somebody, he wants them to not really want it that much, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting you say uh, desperation in a conversation about Christy Nome, who has had issues. Um, she did an ad, and it later turned out that she had a financial interest with the uh, dentist office that she uh, filmed the ad at. But uh, this is just something she released today. Um, and I wonder if she is uh, in the holes, like maybe some bookies or something herself, because she is doing an ad for something called Fit My Feet. Mm. 
We are at Fit My Feet in Rapid City, and these guys are amazing. They have totally built me inserts for running, separate ones for my cowboy boots. I'm going to be perfect. I'm going to be like bionic woman now, right? <laughs> right. So come see these guys out in Rapid City. Actually, what towns are you in? Rapid City, Sioux Falls, Rochester, Minnesota, Fargo, North Dakota, Sioux City, Iowa, and Brookings. There you go. Yeah. So. All right. I'm going to, Donald Trump's going to look at that and he's going to go like, I like what yeah. she's doing. She, this reminds me of when I was t- selling this, Trump steaks. QVC. <laughs> you remind me. She's a saleswoman. Me, no, no. She reminds me of me. Yeah. Except for I do this with the Saudis. <laughs> and uh, I mean, this is her leveraging her office, uh, you know, and spreading around. I, I mean, here's the thing: what what do you what kind of like a uh, uh, campaign uh, donations do you think that she's gotten yeah. or getting from them? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, and she's not thirsting for it. She's she she doesn't necessarily say that she wants it publicly She's so trump trump get. likes the thrill of the chase where She's so then he can grab him by the p word <laughs> trump, uh, T- tim is just making it a little too obvious that he wants trump you're talking about your feet christy <laughs>